Welcome to Media Animal TV. Today we're at a sanctuary for injured wildlife. We're about to meet Ben Desson, who's going to introduce us to some of the iconic residents. The sanctuary was established in 1977. It's a place to, to raise and rehabilitate orphaned and injured native wildlife. My role is to oversee the day-to-day -day running of the place, obviously care and maintenance of the animals, going out and doing rescues and those sorts of things as well. At the moment we've got two species of kangaroos on the property. We've got these guys here which are the red kangaroo, or the, the largest species of kangaroo in the, in the brew family, and we've also got eastern greys which are another species that are quite commonly seen right up and down the east coast of Australia. This is Reba and she's a female red kangaroo. Males can reach up to 90 kilos and be up to five or six foot tall. They've got amazingly powerful back legs there. So they've got these big muscles um, that obviously they use to propel themselves forward. They're really, really quite agile when they're, they're jumping and they've got that really powerful tail which almost acts as a third leg. The males will combat, so in the breeding season they will actually fight over females and that sort of thing, territory, so they'll actually get up on those back legs and they will kick each other, trying to see who's the tallest, so they'll be trying to say I'm bigger than you sort of thing, just to um, be the dominant animal in a habitat. So yeah, they are incredibly powerful, you wouldn't want to take a kick off one of them. This is Cathy and she's a 18 month old red kangaroo female. A member of the public who were driving right out west came across a dead mother on the side of the road and they found this little girl in the pouch and at the time she was probably only about that sort of size. So they took the joey, thinking it would make her a good pet, took her home, raised her, treated her basically like she was a domestic dog. But when she got a little bit too big for them to handle, they actually ended up dumping her on a golf course. We went out and got her and she's now here at the sanctuary. Because she's so humanised and, and been, I guess, domesticated in a sense, we're not sure if she'll be able to be released back into the wild, but she'll be here for a period of time, and if we can wild her up enough, she may be able to be released eventually, but for the time being, she still thinks she's a bit of a dog, actually. So this is one of our eastern grey kangaroos that's actually in permanent care here at the sanctuary. So unfortunately she probably won't be able to be released, but you can see here on her hip, she's got this bit of indentation. She was actually hit by a car. Her hip was reconstructed so they managed to pin the bones together, but she has trouble uh, jumping and walking so she wouldn't be able to escape from predators in the wild, which is why she, she lives here permanently with us. Kangaroos are truly an iconic Australian species. If people think of Australia, the first image that comes to mind is the kangaroo or the wallaby. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it's quite, quite unique, obviously. I mean, you'd be lying there in bed at night and then, you know, one o'clock in the morning, you hear thump, thump, thump as the kangaroo sort of jumps past your bedroom window. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love it. And, you know, being out in the bush and it's just beautiful being so close to these guys and playing a role in their, their protection and their conservation. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out more awesome Australian animal stories at mediaanimal.tv.